Schwank, innovative heating solutions. That's John. John owns a business and is looking for an energy saving heating system for his building. He has heard that infrared heating systems are exactly the right thing for him, but how do they work and why are they so efficient? Infrared heating uses the principle of the sun, as simple as that. The sun radiates infrared radiation which reaches the earth with virtually no losses and heats it up. The best way that you can feel that is in the mountains on a glacier. When it's minus 5 degrees Celsius and cloudy, you feel cold. But as soon as the sun comes out, it immediately feels like a nice day at plus 15 degrees Celsius. Then you can lie on the glacier and it still feels warm. That's exactly the way it works in John's building. And that brings many advantages. First, infrared systems primarily heat up humans and objects, not the air. That's great because warm air rises. It would be a waste of energy to heat up the air. Second, infrared heat feels comfortable and immediately takes effect. The air temperature may still be cool, yet we feel comfortably warm, just like in our glacier example. These are the reasons why infrared heating systems can use up to 40% less energy. That reduces operating costs, money that John can use smartly for other things. But there is a third advantage. Due to the fact that infrared heating doesn't blow air around, it doesn't swirl up dust. That's good for John, because his facility remains clean, and it's also healthy. Because there are plaque and tube heaters, John now asks himself which kind of infrared heating is the right one for him. Both have the same effect, but work differently. With plaque heaters, the combustion takes place on ceramic tiles, which then radiate the infrared energy. And because this is highly efficient, plaque heaters are usually appropriate for buildings of over 6 metres height. With tube heaters, the combustion takes place in a tube. The tube then emits the radiation. Tube heaters work at lower temperatures, and therefore are usually more appropriate for buildings of over 4 metres height. Meanwhile, there are also tube heaters that are available with condensing technology and with heat recovery. These technologies use energy that otherwise would be lost. John thinks that's all great. For more detailed advice, he contacts Schwank. They are the market leader and manufacturer in Germany. If someone knows how it's done, then they do. Schwank explains to John which heating is the most suitable for his facility, and at the same time, they calculate how much energy John will save in the future. Schwank, innovative heating solutions.